Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome once again to Weekly. Wake oh, no, I just <laughs> it up. Again. The, the Weekly, weekly Waypen. I'm Cal. And I'm Sunny. A.K.A. Henry and Sangita. And this week we have a pretty light roster, and you guys must be mind readers because we have had... One hell of a week. Yes, there was a lot of cleaning and moving and cleaning and moving. And uh, this, I guess, will be our announcement. We are going to uh, be bringing on special guest stars for this uh, this coming Friday. Are we? Yes. I am unaware of this. I was taken by surprise. Yes, uh, which will be Amma and Appa. Which is my parents. Yes, and uh, so they're going to get a little bit of a flavor of what we do in a week. And uh, they're going to get to take a look. So, you know, uh, stay sharp. Way panners, oh, not yes. way pan warriors. Oh, yes, yes. Because uh, I got I got turned Coming down on strong, by huh? my own community. <laughs> 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 But yeah, so uh, it's it's actually very good that we had a light week this week because <laughs> we have had a heavy week, haven't we? Yeah, I yeah. think it's actually for past two weeks because oh. I have been non-stop video editing to make sure everything was scheduled and set up so that we could have a free and easy, completely free weekend to spend with, you know, my parents and which would be your in-laws. And, um, yeah, we want to finally have a proper break stress-free. Yes. So, uh, it, it's going to be stress-free for her. All stress for me. All Ooh. right. Ooh. All right. So, we shall, uh, we shall endeavor to begin. First up, we've got Peter Peter. Mr. Peter. So, my previous post, I showed my models after airbrushing and a full wash. The three colors I used are added here. The tone differences are subtle and hard to see with bone, but they do create some depth. I have since used the same colors to blend in the wash, and I'm very happy with the result. I have added some Agrax Earth Shade 5050 to the hair on the models to differentiate. For those wanting to know what models these are, there's a link, and I will Boogies. be yes, uh, I will be using them as tomb kings for blood bowl. Yes, ever since I saw these little cutie patooties, I told Henry I want them. Yes, yes, I want it. So, uh, you, you know, he is he is now my sworn enemy. <laughs> yeah, I want it. Uh, but we've got a post directly after this one. So I've got both posts called up. So what I'm going to do is I'm mm -hmm. going to go up to the next one. You can read out that one and then we'll take a look at both posts. Ah, and I see. And we'll uh, see the difference. So we're going up to the yeah, next yeah. one. Ah, just right after. Okay. So I have started adding some green ghostly glow into cavities. The fluoro gives a glossy finish, but that I but that will be dulled down in final coats. I coated the fluoro straight over the sepia wash as it is translucent and creates a shadow and then I blend it white into the center of the areas. That sounds like a good technique and idea. All right, well, let's take a look at the progress. So we're gonna start with the previous post. Okay, I will now be looking at Computar. Yeah. Cause it's big. All right. So he's done the bone and the washing like he said. Yeah, and it looks like basically the, so remember the first time around, what it looked like he was going for was so it it's been brought back a lot remember how yeah, much the, darker it the was the wash was pretty pooling and heavy but he's done a great job smoothing everything out well i think that was more or less to like that was his version of a zenithal prime with oh, these ones because interesting. because i think the the problem is that these, these are what are known as chibi models. Yes. And I think a lot of more sort of standard techniques won't work with yeah, them. Yeah, because chibi, very round, very flat looking. Even when you see those like, I don't know what, I forget what they're called, a pop, pop something. You know those um, toys? Well, they're not really toys. They're more like collector's items where the they create these different characters from famous movies and famous cartoons. Mm -hmm. And they have a square head. They've got like a squarish head and tiny ass bodies. 
and just two dots for eyes. I don't remember what they're called, but that's kind of the chibi uh, style, yeah. right? It's it's flat, it's uh, matte shine and cartoony and you, simple. But matte doesn't have shine. How can it be matte? But shine? It, it is matte. Is still somewhat reflective. Somewhat. It's not. It's not one hundred percent just no reflection. It's a, it's a subtle. Okay, so this is where he's brought the bone back a lot. Mm -hmm. And let's go on to the next one. Take a look and see some of the progress. It's looking I really think, good. I think looking at this one as the one which is going up next is the biggest one. Oh, is it? Oh, I thought we had... Uh, Here we go. Is that the same guy? Is it the same guy? I don't know. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. I, I'm. I'm almost yeah. certain that mm -hmm. it is. Mm -hmm. And see, I think we can see a lot going on with that. But what I do predict is that these are going to get more and more and more finicky. Mm. Because I take a look at it right, and when I take a look at it, there's a a bigger painting surface area, right? Yeah. But I think that there's less room for error. Mm. And the reason I say that is because of some of the designs and that, right? Whereas you could just sort of paint gold and like do the... Um... Gem effect? No, no. So like you, you're going to do the gem effect, but I'm saying you could paint the gold and then just do a wash over it and sort of be done with it on the miniature when you're doing like 32 to 28 millimeter scale, right? The heroic scale as they call it um but here you're not going to have as much room for forgiveness because yeah, of it's much bigger yeah bigger. much bigger area and essentially like you're not going to be able to do those those sorts of things as but much. i think from what we've seen of peter's work especially like i'm thinking of the nurgle team yeah the, the very clean nurgle team yes he is a very precise painter oh yeah no no so. With, without a doubt without a doubt and i think um like i think with the nurgle team um he he went he went all out with the bases but to like see like i i know that there was a competition uh recent uh, like a painting competition. I don't know if he went to that one with the, the blood bowl. And um, like the only reason that I, th I think that he didn't win, you know, judging by what I saw is because the Nurgle team was quite clean. Maybe. You know, because that's what we talked about before, you know, about the, the clashing of styles. But I think that the, the white gemstone effect... Uh, sorry, the white with the gemstone effect has really come out. I think the shadows are quite subtle. I think it's really coming along. We're starting to see the shape of it now. My like, favorite is the Anubis Anubis one. That one really shows the the essence of that sort of glowing gem. It almost looks like, you know, one of those crystal balls where it's like smoky on the inside and glossy on the outside kind of thing. Oh, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. And yeah. I thought like, hey, that kind of looks like that, you know? Yeah, so yeah. So that's why I'm a bit like on the fence on whether or not he should mattify it because it just really looks quite yummy at this stage. <laughs> yeah, well, I think, I think it looks good. I think essentially as things go on, what's going to happen is he's just going to have to be more and more precise mm. and like... It's, it's quite ironic because you'd think with these chibi ones that you'd have more room to, to do whatever you want. But as it turns out, you know, you don't have almost any room at all. Uh, for error, for error. He yes, means for error. yes, yes. Because you have plenty of free space for painting. And easy to paint, but also easy to mess up. Yeah, and so, yeah. people will be able to see mistakes a lot more than they would yeah. on 32 mil scale. Yeah, because like, it's also significantly less detailed and that's part of the style. Yeah, so like with, you know, Warhammer yep. models, there are like a bajillion details going on. Oh, you yes, can sometimes. You can forgive a lot of things that happens with it. You don't notice them, but with the model like this. But yeah, we're going over and over the same point. Yes. Anyhow, let us move along. All right, so uh, we did have Paul Miller put something up. So we just want to take a quick look at Paul Miller's stuff. 
because he put it in the um it's so adorable the little barrel I love the little barrel boy yes because uh i did the welcome post and i as per usual i'm like make up a post of your own and every single Every, everyone goes to the comment section and start posting it's not bad it shows interaction oh yeah it's really nice to see no i i I tell you what i i really i really love um some of these guys like this thing right here with the barrel just um if oh yes i think it's it's uh it looks like that one one character that I I forget what his name is it Domo Domo or something like that is this square looking brown turd dude and then he's got these four teeth Oh is that the meat man guy Is yeah. that a meat man guy Yeah sorry I, I It just, reminded me of that character I yes. just had to clear my nose mid sentence unfortunately He wanted but, to do a achu Yes Um but yeah so very very clean Mm-hmm. super clean mm-hmm. um look at the detail it's not a super clear picture but that's that doesn't stop the fact that you can see the details yeah and one thing is you know everything is well lit and in focus which is <laughs> better than a nudge lot of- nudge <laughs> calvinoni nudge nudge but he has improved a lot oh, in his no, pa- taking massively, pictures. massively massively yeah yeah yeah, yeah um so yeah i love the bases i like how yeah, it's got no, a little, like, see, cracked earth going on there and see this is one of the things so i've talked at length before and especially a lot of you long time way painters will remember me going on and on about bases and faces make a model aces mm-hmm. um and just how often i go on about bases because i think that anyone can get bases right it's not a high skill ceiling, mm-hmm. All right? So the the thing is, I say that all bases only need three elements, right? And he's got that. So the earth has a has cracks in it, which is two, and then just the grass. It's simple. It works. I mm-hmm. like that. Um, so let's let's do the usual thing that we do. What yeah. you did well. What you did poorly and what yeah. you could improve on yeah yes yeah so i think all super clean right and great choice of color scheme yeah red against the green it is, is fantastic uh, yeah complementary colors they will bring out the contrast between each other and um i think the barrel boy has come out very nicely yes, the lighting yes. is very well done on him and a very nice choice of color it's still warm like a lot of your color scheme even though you know we talk about warm colors um warm colors are what you call red orange yellow in the rainbow right cool colors are green blue purple in the rainbow but even within these colors you can have cool tone reds warm tone reds cool tone purples warm tone purple so when you have the mixture of both so what he's gone for is he's got a very warm tone going on and it's just everything comes together very nicely very cohesive which is well done on i think that's one of his best points here very good position in the white as well i think i see some streaking with the white on one of the helmet but i can't be too sure um i think I it's don't, a minor I don't think so. minor I think that's, thing uh, i think that right there because it's not um because it's pixelated i think you'll find that that's sort of like some uh embellishment like a gold thing on his helmet maybe yeah right um so the as for um i i think the depth with the models isn't the greatest i thought the depth was very well done well okay so like the highlights could be brighter and the and the shadows could be darker right Hmm. so for example you know just especially on the especially on the skin right and there's um, so, sort of no tonal variation in the in the red. But, yeah, okay, yeah. Um, and like, just for example, the, the faces and the ears, right? Like, just pushing that highlight a bit more to bring attention to the face. Like, that's what I'd say can be improved. I'd I say see. that's what was done poorly and could be improved because... I don't think that they're bad by any stretch of the imagination, but 
that's what I would say could be improved because essentially like there's nothing wrong with these models. They're good. I assume that this is him going for game standard, going for tabletop. Tabletop plus, I would call it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Um, And he's probably like got them out, wants them very nice and clean and is going for that nice and clean look. And I think, you know, having that nice and clean look can be really good, especially when you push like the skin so like if the uniforms are super like flat uh-huh yeah and okay. then the skin is exaggerated so so you're talking about contrast of kind is that the yeah kind yeah of but also more like literal contrast with um you know with the skin yeah like, values contrast in values yeah, and yeah. contrast in kind which is like type like a uh, uh, matte versus gloss yeah. or, or rough versus smooth right. that sort of thing but I think we should move on because we yeah. have very few posts so we should try and actually just move on so Christopher Marza is uh, still working on his terrain and he's uh, making, his, uh, making his way with the same thing that he was doing before uh, if it looks stupid but it works there's probably an easier way than you would have been able to do if you took more than five seconds to stop and think. Four clamps, uh, close enough spacer, and... If and I, an if I don't knock it or let a breeze in the room, it won't fall over support later. Oh, no. <laughs> Maybe he was, like, a bit tired when he was doing it and he didn't want to think too much about things. He just wanted to get it done. Sometimes yeah. that happens. You just... Think, okay, I want this to be done. I'm just going to do this. And then later on, you're like, you know, I could have just done it this way. And then you just think that you're stupid for not thinking that idea. But, you know, in the moment, that happens some of the times. You just want you just want it done, you know? Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. If it, if it works, it works. But, okay. yeah, so, uh, but all progress is good progress and... Look, dude, you've been working away at this oh, for yeah. a little while. So hopefully everything will come up aces. All right. So next up, we... Our main man. Yes. Mr. Joseph Milan. Yes. And uh, end of three-day weekend update picks. The loader is done. Uh, was a cheap toy. Now it's gaming terrain. It's a bit big, I know. But those things do get big sometimes. The shops are WIPs. You know, when I saw his little uh, loader, the first thing I thought was, Bob the Builder. Yes, we can. Well, here's the ironic thing, right? Um, I saw I saw the thing, right? And I didn't even have thoughts about it being like, oh, that's, that's too big or anything, right? Because I've been around construction um, vehicles and they do get a little bit ridiculous. So the cabin, the cabin's a bit wrong. But see, the size of the actual um, mouth of the vehicle, mm. that seems about correct. Yeah, no, no, because it's funny because he's like, um, somebody's like, the scale's pretty off. And I saw that on, I don't think that's here, so I'm not going to show any of it. But somebody's like, oh, the scale's, the scale's a bit off. And then he showed a literal picture of the exact same vehicle. And next to you, a person yeah and you know had the model in the mouth of it and it was the exact right scale yeah so like i think because like i don't like it right off the bat it looks way too big mm. right but like i don't know as much about construction so if you say i think that i think the issue is like that's usually mining equipment mm. um and like it's not usually in the city but I am liking the the colors with uh, the little shop fronts. I think that they're looking very fun. And uh, hopefully, we'll see how those things turn out it's looking in the good. near future. Yeah, no. Yeah, I didn't say nice. that it was looking bad. Nah, right? Yeah, I'm just complimenting. I yeah, no. Compliment. But the, the way you say it is like, oh, this is him. He will never compliment anything. I like the little light green dry brushing or airbrushing that he's done in the middle of the Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's nice. All right. So let us move on. So next up, oh, we've got a oh, yeah, pretty right. intense post from uh, 
Rain of Paints. Yes. Oh, I love this boy. Oh, oh, I'm supposed to read. Sorry. Random WIPs. One kit bash for Fabulous Marines 2023. Two Metal Con Rehab. Three random hero figure from Metal Oak. Four Victoria Miniatures Adapticon 2023 Mini. Five Punga Minis Skaven uh, Apothecary. Hmm. Uh, I assume these are finished. No, no these are not. work in progress. Oh, sorry, yeah. So yeah, you can Ooh, definitely see the uh, the values a lot more than with my one on uh, this green one. Yeah, boy. Um, she's a glowing. Yes. Okay, let me look at what he said. Number one kit bash fab for fabulous marines. I don't know that one, but it, it must really be cool. some sort of competition. She's an e girl, honey. It Did you e see e girl? All right, and so I do believe this is him oh, reworking man. on this. Do you really like this corn boy? Yes, this is Khan the Betrayer. Ah, um, I was coming. I love the skull. Did you see the skull over there? Yes, that it, it's a corn guy. There's going to be lots of skulls. Yeah, but the way he's painted it up, it's uh. I don't know how to explain it. It's like a dusty skull. Yeah, yeah. Is it? Yeah. Is that what you would call it? It's like you took a skull and you burned it in the flames of hell. <laughs> and then you rubbed it in the dirt and ash that it was burned in. And you put it on the... Well, on. well, Raina, I, I hope that this is what you were going for. Well, that's but what these, it looks like. These are just whips thus far. Mm. Oh, this... See... Uh, you can see him switching styles quite quickly. Because um, when you take a look at this one and you compare it to the last one, this one's so bright and colourful compared to the sort of grim dark I of the other one. I can see that he's going for almost showcase level. Mm. Like you can see with the way he's done the shadowing on this model that he's kind of going for that showcase level look. Don't you, mm, don't you think? Mm, mm. Yeah. Well, also because of the, the visor... And how he's just going all out trying to copy the artwork. But I think he's trying to go beyond the artwork there. But also it looks like the sculpt and the artwork don't quite match with the stockings covering the majority of the skin. Oh yeah, you don't see the stockings in the in the art. Yes, yes. There might have been a last minute addition in the 3D printing process. I'm not sure. And then... Mm. Look at the apothecary. I love so, the blood splatter. Hold up. The, yeah, the so, lady. Um, so it looks like I think just the base colors are on there. But I'm not sure what kind of um, darker skin he's going for with that. It not, might not necessarily be darker skin. Oh, you're right. He If he's going for Caucasian skin... You can start very dark. Yeah, no. That, for shadow base. That's fine. But I think if you know... Um, like, for example, uh, like with your skin tone, a lot of the time I'd start out with more purplish sort of color, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. um, like a brownish purple sort of thing. Mm -hmm. Or a blue undertone if you're going for very, very, very dark, like Nubian skin. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm. And I like the apothecary boys. Oh, room. yes, yes. Uh, so that. that I think is probably for Blood Bowl. Oh, okay. um, because uh, in Blood Bowl, you have apothecaries. Um, and as far as I know, there's no Skaven for uh, the standard game, which are apothecaries. But the the blood spatter is just Spot on, mm, man. chef's kiss. And yeah. like I, I, you, if you look closely on that apron, he's done it in such a way that... The apron is clearly some sort of a light blue color that started out that way. But it's been so worn out that it's sort of faded in some parts that's sort of greenish white over time. And that just adds to that overly used uh, effect of it all. That like he's been putting this apron in the wash after and over and over and over again. It's bold because of, of you to assume that he's put it in the wash. Yeah, uh, yeah I mean. <laughs> but you, you get what I mean? Like when, when clothes get blood stained a bit too many times, it just changes the color of it a bit. Yeah. That's what it looks like. And I think that takes um, attention to detail. Maybe he didn't mean it 
maybe it was an accident, but it 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 shows. Yeah. Well, I'll be very interested to see where these go. So the the only thing that I've got to say, like this one is definitely my favorite of all of them. But with the tail, also because we can't see the tail as much, mm. um, I feel like it doesn't feel rat-like enough. I think he will add the little weird indents that rat tails have, you know, the little mm. rings Yeah. later on. But yeah. we will soon see. So, next up, oh, we got this oh, rose. These were the, 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 the children's. The children's. Yes. Yes. All right. And hopefully we'll see some more from this. Uh, so you want to read? Okay. Been a very long time since I have painted anything. However, both my kids have been showing interest in tabletop games. I had the pleasure of introducing them to a very old friend of mine and his wife who are still heavily into minis. They were kind enough to not only give them their first miniature, but also let them try airbrushing. This is what they have done so far. Needless to say, they are very keen at finishing them and have been picking my brain as to what colors they should use on the plague swords and whatnot. Oh, I guess we can and suggest some things. Yes. Uh, so if you wanted to go, so for example, with the purple one, mm. uh, what I'd probably go with is just uh, a steel and then just heavily rust it with like a lot of orange accents because mm. you've got the, the green and the purple there which will be a um, a great contrast there. For the orange one, instead of going for rust, you want to go for patina or verdigris instead because it's green. I think and green I, will contrast with orange. If not, it will just look like the whole model is I rusty think that's, boy. that's what um, was said in the comments here. Uh, uh. Da, 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 um, the sword can be bright green acid. Um, ah, you, know, you could approach it that way too. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, I think that'd be really, really good and interesting. But I will look forward to seeing their their progress. And uh, it is it is really nice to see, you know, more kids showing interest. And um, what I also like is that there's, you know, a fellow dad talking about... Um, you know, kids and uh, what they're doing. And then you uh, showed off your um, your Terrain Tuesday. But you took way more photos than this. Usually you do a whole walkthrough. The, oh, yeah, because the original post that I made, the very first one, I shared the walkthrough process. Ah, did you? Yeah. Did you? Oh, so, see. like, this one is, like, the finished product. I, I will see. Yeah. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna go and see if you're you're a, a, a liar liar. Huh? Okay. See, you, you know you should you should actually put it together and make a a, a proper tutorial like you usually do. Okay. All right. But yes, it was nice to because you pretty much did all of these, you know, mm. uh, while my hand was still hurt, and uh, like I just did the stand-ins for the. Um, brushes and such mm. all right so next up and yeah, this was this was absolutely um this was absolutely fantastic we've got brush strokes sorry my uh your, your my feed is, went went off uh, it just, went rogue okay okay i think i'm on the right one yeah, yeah yeah oh yes i saw this and i was very excited yes strictly speaking uh, not a uh, what are you painting now as I painted it a while ago, but I really wanted to share with you guys my amazing news that I managed to get a golden deal and oh, finalist pinned this weekend at Warhammer Fest 2023. It was really unexpected because this category had well over 400 entries and all were top level painting. And this mini wasn't even painted as a comp piece. I haven't finished that one yet. What it does mean though is I now have a video on how to paint a Golden Demon finalist mini if you fancy <laughs> checking that out. Well, there you have it. Well, I'm I'm not surprised that he placed very highly. And look, look we'll, we'll, zo clean. we'll zoom into the the real the real mini of, of merit. Here we go. Here it is. You know, uh, a bit too close, maybe. No, no, there, 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 there we go. Is. There we go. You know, that's that's, that's the, the true important mini. one. Not not um, the actual mini, no. But um, yeah. 
So the reason why I think he did so well is because... Um, He's got a smooth butt. <laughs> yes, it's all because of the smooth butt. I mean, look at it. Well, she's not wrong. Um, but that is very much what uh, Games Workshop likes. The, the very sort of smooth, clean look. And um, there's some things that I noticed on it, which I didn't notice the first time around when he painted it. Like, take a look here. Look at that subtle glow right there. Mm, a little bit of OSL. Yeah, I see a lot better on my phone than I think because of the angle, but I do see what you're talking about there. Yeah, yeah. But, I, you know, look, it is the now. So I love looking at the gemstones. Yes, the gemstones. And look at the eye, honey. Look at the eye. Yes, the eye is very fantastic. That you, one white dot is just, yes, just... It's just not kid. just a white dot. It's the way he's done the shading on it. So it's like, it's just a, uh, maybe it's a, a pure black or maybe it's a very dark green, but he, he just does the whole thing in that color. And then he has that fade of that emerald green to lime green in the middle, making it look like a really sort of almost clouded gem. And you put the little light right there, makes it look extra glossy. Mm. Man. Mm. Man. But... Rather than giving the usual, you know, what you did well, because I'm sure that he had more than enough of that. I hope you had a fantastic time at Warhammer Fest. Gonna put and, like, yes. <laughs> and uh, I think you did really well, man. And I'm really proud of you. Well, I will say one thing. I think the way that Brushstrokes paints his minis, even though it's very simple at the end of the day when you look at it, right? You can't stop looking at it. I mm. think that is the a special type of talent. Uh, maybe, maybe, uh, yeah, I guess talent. I don't know how to really explain it. But, like, you can't stop looking at it and staring at it. So I think I will move on because I have been nudged. I have been nudged. All right, so next up we've got Sienne Sien looking for advice on how to paint this. I have some Imperial Guard just drop on me and it needs love. I want to do current British MTP for mine. Uh, has anyone found any guides or knows of a good way to make the mine Topaz pizza look good? I have either this or Starship Troopers. Mine Topaz pizza. Yes, I love it. Mine Topaz pizza. So what, what, am I, what am I looking at? Um, it's just a camo pattern. So oh. he's saying, how do I do this camo pattern? Um, now I can't quite remember the name of him, but he's a bald bloke who left Games Workshop. Uh, that, I think there are many painting. bald men in Games shh, Workshop. Shh, shh, shh. Do not cut me off. Mm. You've got to stop. You've got to stop. Um... So I think he's called the painting phase. Yeah, I think I think that's the name of him. But what I really do love is that you know Alan and Joseph Mallon came to the rescue and that we've got a community that supports one another here. Speaking of, next up we've got oh it's myself. I was about to say Alan because I think uh, Alan's right after me. Gosh, but I'm yeah, gonna... so guys Oh, we we have not had the best of luck recently, have we? Mm. Um, but the 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 thing is, uh, we've taken out a volumetric ton of stuff from uh, the the place that we're not going to get into these stories. We are just going to say that there has been a lot of work on the place that we have been preparing. Mm -hmm. and too too much work yeah but there was always going to be too much work with it so it's yes and uh a lot of other things going on which have been unfortunate as if you guys paid attention to the other ones you'll know about some of the things going on and uh yeah it's just we have not had the best luck, but we have been working hard to make sure that this visit goes well. So I haven't got much done 
at all, have I? E for this current piece, project. Project. No. no. But hopefully, uh, I'll be doing more while your folks are here. Maybe, yeah. All right. So finally, we have Alan, and that's what I was uh, say. All right, you want to uh, yep. read? I spent tonight's session carefully glazing yellows and purples in choice locations. At this point, all the steps are very subtle, especially on camera. Pretty soon, I'll need to figure out a basing and maybe a backdrop before I try to finish the backside. Probably the most visible change you'll see in this update is the colors on the axe head. I added yellows and purples in to reduce the grayscale palette that I had. Also, a picture of my painting buddy. The other two ki got kicked out for running across my desk, but Rumble was happy for the lap. Yeah, so uh, that's the one area where the cats are banned mm -hmm. in their house, uh, which is the, the painting, painting area, room. Yeah. which uh, we have closed off. And every time it's opened up, they're all very excited, aren't they? Mm, they'll just sit there outside the gate. Yeah, well, They'll just sit I, think, there. I think the thing is that they hear the videos playing and some of the times they'll hear me talking to people and they'll just be like, I'm a part of the conversation. Well, Hades in particular. But um, what I want to do is take a look at some of his previous work and we'll, um, <laughs> try, and, we'll try and compare... Because, like, I'm just having, why does it look different with this one to this one? Mm. Oh, maybe because there's only one image in this one and, like, you don't go off to the others. Mm. So I'm trying to... I think he's done the glazing in the, in the, the skin, the yellow. Yeah, so I'm just taking a look. He's trying to pick up the the yellows and that, and see this is this is one of the issues when it comes to some of the more high level paint jobs, right? It is it is very hard for us to suggest improvements, you know that sort of thing, when they're going to that level, right? And see, like I said um, before, you know it's. Uh, like the only comments that we can make, and I think we said this on somebody else's, you know, more high level job. I think it was Stevens. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, when I said, you know, the only comments that we can sort of make is the emperor has no pants sort of comments. Yeah. You know, where it's the glaringly obvious that, you know, people who are in that sort of competition stance like they're in their head so much that they don't see the glaringly obvious. Mm. And so the, see, the thing is he said that these people are looking for super high contrast. Oh. Do you remember that with his yeah. first post? Yeah. And the other thing is, so I take a look at that and I take a look at, you know, where he is with it. And the only thing that I can think is that, with it, you know, like, that's... It, it just seems, like, too high contrast to me, but... If that's like, what they're the, looking yeah, for, then you've see, done your job, you know? Yeah, and see, that's that's what I'm saying, you know? And that's why I'm having um, a lot of difficulty giving any criticisms here, because it's... Do you remember that time when Joseph was, like... Don't feel afraid to criticize me. Like and, like to suggest more yeah, and see, further from what I've done. And see, the thing was, he said that he was aiming for tabletop to get these things out and to be done with them. Mm -hmm. And we're like, and we took a look through. We're like, you hit your goal. Mm. You you hit your goal. They're, they're good. They're good enough, right? They're like... They're, they're exactly what he said he wanted to do. And see, here, I feel like it's the exact same. Mm -hmm. You know, he's hitting what he wants to do. Like, very high contrast. Um, 
the the own the only thing that I guess I could say is taking a look at the apron here. It doesn't seem to have the same level of shadows and color differentiation that, like for example, the skin does. Right? Oh, if you're going to point out a, a thing that's lacking in contrast, is that yeah, what yeah, and like that's like that's about it because like. I really like the leather effect. I like, you know, the the tattoos. I think are he's amazing. going. I think he's going for contrast and saturation. So, like, if you notice the yeah. the arm behind the shield where the light doesn't touch as much, it's very desaturated. But everywhere else, where the head, the arms, the legs are, it's very saturated in the coloring. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it almost looks like she is facing a sunset. The wood, um, like how orange and yellow she looks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It almost looks like that's what is happening. Mm. But yeah, I I think if he goes any further in terms of pushing the values for the leather, it it won't look like leather anymore. Mm. But uh, like, uh, but but you see what I mean, right? Like that's and see, like that's about the only thing I could say. But going back to his point from before, where he was saying, you know, like. He doesn't know too much what to do um, next. When it comes to these more competition pieces, I know one of the things that I've heard certain people say is don't use static grass, don't you? But the thing is, he knows this competition very well. So I'd just say that, you know, some sort of grass would be great for the base to, because she's got. A lot of warm tones in her, mm. you know. Um, it in in fact, with the exception of the axe, it's pretty much all warm tones and the back of the shield. But the the thing is, like, there's a lot of warmth in it. Yes, and to have something to contrast against that. And if he was talking about a uh, backdrop, you were talking about. Um, her looking into a sunset. Mm. Do you know what might be nice mm. is those um, purple clouded sunsets. Yeah. Having something like that and like um, sort of showing where the light's coming from uh -huh. with the backdrop. Th does but he need to do a backdrop or just a basis enough? No, he did say about the backdrop at all. I'll need to... A backdrop before I finish the backside. Mm, mm -hmm. Yeah. But I'll well, just add context to the piece, I suppose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I, I definitely think that essentially, you know, um, like that's the only things I can suggest. Like a nice naturalistic area, you know, grass, moss, you know, a lot of, a lot of greens. Highland type. Location. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, and for example, the sense. um, for example, like cold stones. Yeah, you know, like greys, that yeah, sort of yeah, thing yeah, to yeah. contrast against her a lot. Mm -hmm. I think that'd be great. Yeah, because I'm not really sure what further work you could do with her. Like, I think it's pretty much reached its zenith. With well, her. see, see, the thing is, like I said, I don't know what we can say besides the emperor's got no pants. So I think that we're going in circles now. Yeah. And so let's wrap up. Yeah. All right, everybody. Thank you very much for joining us. And, you know, even though it may not be intentional, thank you for a uh, easier week. And <laughs> this, this week coming up, feel free to flood us because... We're going to have um, Ama and Appa here, and we would love to show them what you do. Yeah, exactly. So, uh, I guess we know what we're supposed to do now. Um, it, it's something about saying some sort of tagline, some um, sort of cheesy tagline. Yeah, yeah. All right. Keep, Keep those, those brushes, brushes wet. wet. Bye, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye.